so gate 2026 examination is just around the corner and i know this is the time where most of the students feel very underconfident they feel very tensed they are very depressed and they feel that they will not be able to perform in the examination and they will just mess up their examination so they are thinking that uh, let me just uh, don't study or they are like they are very demotivated so first thing i want to say to all of those guys is this is happening with 90 percent of the students it, this will not happen with the top 10 percent that who have prepared very well and who know that they will perform good that's fine but for 90 percent of the students this is happening so you don't need to worry don't take too much stress over this you if you are feeling bit tensed it is good because you are worried and you should be worried right because it's a very important examination it's not it's not the end of the world it's not like if you crack gate and your world is done no things just start after that but yeah cracking gate will eventually help you out in the longer run but this is happening with 90 percent of the students so don't take don't be too much tense a bit of tense is good because you should have the uh, feeling that yes you are worried you have to study well otherwise you will not be able to perform so there should be that uh, kind of fear but not too much of fear is bad okay so this is happening with everyone next point is uh, what i want to say is fear is good that is fine understand why you are getting that fear you are getting that fear maybe you have not studied uh, thoroughly or maybe your marks are you are getting lower marks maybe your friends are telling telling you that i have attempted uh, five mock tests and i'm getting 80 70 uh, marks and you are getting only 40 marks those kinds uh, those things can be some reasons for you to get worried and for you to get depressed so i want to say whenever you are attempting a comp competitive examination there are almost like 1 lakh 2 lakh 3 lakh students attempting the examination right so you cannot think it like that what you can think is your competition with is yourself right so of course everyone wants to get a rank like under 500 under 1000 under 100 so that is a target that is fine that is fine keep the target but ultimately you have to fight with yourself so what you have to do is you compare with yourself if you are if you are getting 40 marks then you see how can i make it 45 how can i make it 45 by studying okay there is no th literally there is no magic here I, I will not say something magical to you and it will happen no if you are getting 40 marks that means somewhere you you are conceptually weak okay somewhere you, you're conceptually weak few subjects you may not have studied right you may not have studied all the subjects so you will need to study those subjects uh right now there, this is not the time you can follow the rpyq videos if you have basic idea to revise through the subject but you cannot study those subjects uh at least revise those whatever are is left out and study the most important subjects right so we have made i and himanshu sir both are, has made uh, most important topics for gate 2026 videos make sure you watch that and you can cover that okay that is point one uh the next point is uh, basically if uh you have uh like you have you know the concept but still there are some uh silly errors silly mistakes or you are getting uh less marks due to speed your speed is low so these are the things that is fine so that you are able to identify these things now this is a good thing right because still you have around 30 days more than 30 days left right so that's why test series is there to identify these things to iron out these things so these things will improve with time with more practice so things don't happen overnight things happen slowly so you will not be able to see the improvement overnight so you're doing this now so that things will improve in the actual examination so the bottom line bottom line is don't be stressed uh, make yourself the competition and fight with yourself daily so try to become better than yourself in the next day so you should keep and target every day every day that i will finish these things i will finish this task and if you are not finishing those tasks then you should actually tell yourself that you feel bad okay so you push yourself to finish the task so this is a good way to uh, motivate yourself so you have to keep motivating yourself right and of course at the end of the day if you want to crack an examination you must have some dream right so you dream big you dream for that whatever you have dreamt about you dream about that once you think that i have to complete my dream then automatically you will do the hard work and the tension and all those things will go away you will focus on the main thing that is studying and uh, practicing solving questions solving numericals right so tensions will be there but once you keep yourself busy 
like practice questions uh, solving numericals and then uh, uh, studying the subject automatically those things will go over right so th these are the priority tasks so you will focus on this okay so with, with that i want to say that be confident don't be underconfident don't be overconfident as well just be in the middle and if you are in the middle and if you are doing everything correctly whatever we say then trust me if uh, like like good things will happen with your life even if not in gate but something good will happen trust me if you are consistent if you are hard working enough something good will happen so don't worry about that good will happen but you have to uh, consistently give your hard work and effort so yeah i want to end this video with that note and if you have any other queries always feel free to put it down in the comments below we will be always happy to help thank you and i will see you in the next video until then happy learning